If you read the Avesta, it is mentioned, he is referred to as the creator. In Avesta, Yasna, chapter number 33, verse number 7 and verse number 11. He is referred to as the creator in Avesta, in Yasna, chapter number 31, verse number 7 and 11. He is also referred as the creator in Yasna, chapter number 44, verse number 7. In Yasna, chapter number 50, verse number 11. In Yasna, chapter number 51, verse number 7. He is referred to as the greatest in Yasna, chapter number 33, verse number 11. And in Yasna, chapter number 45, verse number 6. He is referred to as the benevolent in Yasna, chapter number 33, verse number 11. And Yasna, chapter number 48, verse number 3. He is referred to as bountiful in Avesta, Yasna, Chapter number 43, verse number 4, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and 15. He is also referred to as bountiful in Yasna, chapter number 44, verse number 2. In Yasna, chapter number 45, verse number 5. In Yasna, chapter number 43, verse number 9. And Yasna, chapter number 48, verse number 3. There are various attributes of Almighty God given in the Parsi scriptures. So if you read the Parsi scriptures, the scriptures of Rashtanism, the Satya and Avesta, you'll know that God is only one. He has got no image and you should worship him alone.